Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at creating a photo album within Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2007 as an explanation of this tutorial. The same technique, the same feature is available in 2010 and also in previous versions 2003 and prior. Although the approach may, may differ slightly over different versions. Now the photo album feature is very useful. You can create digital photo albums of any kind of topic or event that you may have pictures for. It just very quickly and very easily will be a way of laying out and organizing a group of photos, basically. To create one, we will go to an insert tab, as I already am on the ribbon, and I'm gonna to go to the photo album list arrow and choose new photo album. I'll then get the photo album dialog box. As you can see, quite a lot of stuff in here which will come alive once we have a few photos. I'm gonna put in a few photos of my dog, a little basset hound called Bella. Now these photos are already stored in a folder uh, called Bella on my computer, and I'm gonna click on my file disk button to get access to the area, and then navigate to the required folder, and here is my Bella folder. Here are a few pictures of, of my basset handers uh, a few months ago as a, more of a puppy than she is now. I'm going to select all of these photos and just click insert to insert them into the photo album dialog box. Now you can see there's a lot of other stuff here that I can use. I've got some reordering arrows here which I can use to to adjust the order of some of these photos, selecting them, moving them up and down. I've also got a remove button if I don't wish to use any certain photos anymore. And I've got some settings which you may be familiar with, brightness, contrast, and some rotational buttons, uh, just for some simple corrections. Down the bottom of this dialog box, we do have a picture layout dialog box, uh, sorry, list arrow. And I could choose maybe two pictures just to put a layout which we can see in the preview at the bottom here of two pictures just side by side no title here other options will be things like fit to slide you can see the picture covers the whole slide or including the title which you can see along the top i can choose a frame shape once again you see the preview in to illustrate what a simple frame is a black frame might go for a, a soft edge rectangle maybe. I can also choose a theme, so some kind of settings, a nice background and stuff for this presentation. This will open up all their themes. I'll, I'll just choose a concourse theme for this example. And I've also got a few other settings here if I decide to use them. I can have all the pictures black and white. I don't think I'll use that. Of course, put captions below all the pictures. Now let's have a look at that one. I'm going to tick that box and I'll click on create to create the photo album. And here it is. It's the photo album by Computer Gaga. My concourse theme. You can see our other slides here. Here we go. Two per slide with that soft edge rectangle. No title. And I do have a caption which I can click inside and I can make better. Oops, sleeping, and maybe for this caption, Bella looking at me, and so on. You can see how you have more as the as the slides go on, still using this two per slide uh, situation. These are all uh, just drawing tools, you see picture frames and that, which can be adjusted. You can use your... Same techniques you may be familiar with, you know, things like slide sort of view to change their order, this kind of stuff as well. But you can also go back into our insert tab, back into the photo album list arrow and edit the photo album at any time should you wish to. So you can reorder the pictures, remove any, adjust their settings or do things like turn captions off, anything at any point. And you can always click on update and the captions will be gone. And that is a photo album in PowerPoint. 
So in other versions, in 2003, you'll find it under the insert menu, under picture, and then photo album. It's available in all versions of PowerPoint. It's a very quick and easy tool. And you create some nice, nice collection of photos, which you can then share with your friends and family. It's, it's very, very easy to use. Thank you for watching. Check out some more other tutorials at computergargoid.com. See you soon.